going on everybody this is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from Autograph Collection here in the Koya Peninsula is a Marriott Hotel you see those people are renting quads they've got golf carts side by sides great way to explore the area around here but yeah we're going into the check-in area I will be showing you my room morning time here also show you the howler monkeys that were on top of the roof when I checked in she said that she would never seen that before but here's a look at some of the bungalows or villas as they call them mine is actually way over there I'm quite a far away from this it's probably a four or five minute walk but I get I'm very remote I don't know if it's a good thing or not but I enjoyed it Punta Islita. There you go. That's the resort. I'm going for breakfast right now. I've got the turtles hatching here. This is check in. Morning. Buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Yes. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Uh, desayuno? They want a table just for you or for. Mm. Yeah, see. Si. We've got a friend this morning. Yeah. Got a breakfast burrito, orange juice, and sparkling water. Parrot still. Okay, after a delicious breakfast, now we will show you around the hotel a bit more. I'll probably pick up here at sunset just so you guys can see. Uh, what the sunset vibes look like, but this is the morning, so I wanted to do both, give you an idea. Uh, when I first checked in, I saw parrots flying across that little valley right there. They're red, red parrots. So I've seen howler monkeys, parrots, macaws. I asked what other kind of wildlife is around here, and they said, um, Cota Mondays. It's just a look at the, I don't think anyone's in that room. You get the idea. It's a nice room. I would say mine's better. I would take mine. Oh, that looks big. That looks quite big compared to mine. Mine's only a one bedroom. You got these seats with a view. Oh yeah, I hear those howler monkeys. So it might not be the easiest thing to walk down this here, or up I should say. Mine is mostly flat. This is just incredible, actually. I wouldn't mind staying down on this side, actually. Something tells me no matter where you're at, though, you're gonna be happy. The only thing is that it's kind of blocked by, the sun is kind of blocked. All right, I got some pork gyoza some tomato soup, tuna tartare, and this is a beef tortellini. And up the hill here, they do have a well-being spa. Let me just show you up here. It's nice because it's up above the resort, on the mountain, backs right up next to the jungle here. It's called Nanku. I'll pick up when I get there. By the way, they do have carts and buggies, so you won't have to walk like I did. I'm just walking. So I like the exercise. Look at that. Hola, chica. Oh. The 
This is the couple's room? Yes. And the tub? Is it hot water? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Quanto cuesta couple's room? Yes, of the massage. Okay. Grab this crap. So massage, facials, body treatments. Salon waxing. Okay. Now here we are at Aura Beach Club right down here at Playa Islita. So I just want to show you the beach club. You will have access. Hola, senor. Hello. You will have access here um, with your stay at Punta Islita Marriott Autograph Collection. Beautiful pool down here with a bar. So the benefit of this is you get to enjoy the beach as well as the stunning views. Everything is included and I must say this is a spectacular experience that I've been having. My mind is kind of blown. But yeah, we'll go down here to Playa Islita. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you can see more videos from across Costa Rica and the world. Oh, they have another spot out here, Equilibrium. Getting a massage right there on the beach. It's like aromatherapy massage for 60 minutes of 70 US. You can pause the video for the price sheet. This one's reserved. Looks like people are reserving their seats. Yeah. Beautiful beach. Beautiful. I'd love to get a sunrise right here, actually. And here's a look at my room. You can see I have a driveway and a villa. It's out here kind of uh, away from the actual lobby and stuff but here's a look at the room aircon does work good so complimentary water you got the mini bar you can use the barcode and then they've got a fully stocked uh, bar mini bar which is good because of how far away I am this is basically a villa out here with a golden view. I don't see any mosquitoes around here, but they do have the mosquito net just in case. Here's the bathroom. So I guess the hotel is about 30 years old. Looks like a tub, right? But it's not. Now, let me show you something that's really impressive here, which is the desk. No, I'm just kidding. The uh, Whirlpool outside. So you've got this area for entertainment and relaxation. Got a hammock. The whirlpool. This is what it's all about right here. Actually, that door connects. So there you go. Okay, so now for my final review of Punta Islita. Marriott Autograph Collection here in Guanacaste, Costa Rica. So I would say that overall, you saw everything, it was spectacular. The areas where it could use some improvement, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to really say. I mean, when you're at a hotel like this, I mean, you're just gonna feel so grateful that anything that could be irritating normally would be overlooked. So I don't really have any negatives to say. Uh, maybe the price is a bit high, but then again, it's also not very high because look at where you're at. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're used to paying a lot of money for a hotel, this is gonna be well worth it. Um, I use points to stay here, but I felt as though the restaurant had delicious food. Everything I ate was super delicious. 
and it was reasonably priced. So I want to say thank you to the hotel for not price gouging with the prices. You know, each appetizer was around ten dollars. I think a shot of tequila for a quality brand was about eleven dollars. I've paid much more than that at other places in Costa Rica, by the way. Um, the beach is it swimmable? I would say so because look. It's low tide right now. The beach is going to come up. All of this is sand, so there's not rocks here. Now, would I swim over there where there is rocks? No. I would be right here where I know there's sand and I can walk out. So, it is swimmable. Um, it's far away from the town, uh, Samara, but it's close to a town nearby here. And they do actually do cultural shows that you may want to check out. The thing is, you're in the jungle here, so there may be a bug occasionally. Like, I had a lizard that lives on my roof. And I saw him this morning. That might be a bit annoying for somebody because you'll hear the lizard kind of scurrying around. At first I thought it was a rat, but he lives under the shingles. A big gray lizard. Not a big deal. He's not like dangerous or anything. But uh, that might be a big deal for somebody who's trying to sleep. But for me, it was part of the jungle experience. So if you come to the jungle, expect to see possibly some bugs. Nothing crazy. Maybe a spider or maybe no bugs because mine was a remote room I did see a spider um, but it wasn't a big deal I took care of that um, and I had the lizard I'm sure if you stayed closer to the actual uh, hotel lobby you probably wouldn't see as much wildlife as I saw because I was in a remote location like these houses here but again you have to keep in mind when you're staying at a beautiful hotel like this that's immersed in the jungle and it's on a hill like that of course there's going to be wildlife. So hopefully you're not one of those people that's going to be surprised if you see, I don't know, a parrot or a monkey or hear howler monkeys. Because I did hear some howler monkeys. I heard some parrots. I don't know who would complain about that or who would find issue with that. But I am saying that that's something that you would expect here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.